This week on The Lowdown, we'll be talking about whether it's cheaper to rent or buy and Chase Bank on liquidity. New research from JP Morgan Chase Bank suggests that putting more money down when a borrower buys a home is not necessarily the best way to keep them in the home, but rather liquidity in their bank account is how to prove that they will keep their house. The research states that allowing borrowers to keep more money in the bank instead of putting that money down will help borrowers pay their mortgages and keep them in their homes. Interesting research paid for by a bank requiring more people to put more money in a bank. Cool study there, Chase. Next thing you know. Hi. I'm playing the role of a doctor. New studies have shown that crude oil is the new essential oil for all aquatic life. Makes sense. Have you ever rubbed a little bit of lavender oil on your temples to help you sleep at night? Same thing for them. Hey there folks, research suggests that 100% of vegetarians all eventually die. Sounds like they could use some carne asada, am I right compadre? <laughs> So Nate, do you think it's cheaper to rent or buy? Uh, probably to live under a bridge. That's really not one of the options. 82% of renters believe it is cheaper to rent than to buy. Now, part of this is because they can't get the money together to actually put down a down payment or cover things like closing costs. And for millennials in particular, the biggest issue with this is paying student loans and covering childcare costs. And really what this is leading to is a ever decreasing number of people that think that they will be able to own a home at any point in their lives. But Sawyer, didn't we report just a couple weeks ago that millennials are the up and coming home buying like demographic? We absolutely did. However, it will be easier for them to be the main home buying demographic when the generations that are older than them have passed away. Well, I guess research can just show anything that you're willing to pay for. For instance, 100% of Sawyers are more attractive than 100% of Nate's. Hey, where'd you get that? Trust me, I did a study. 